New Balance just took the SC Trainer to the next level, level V3. Let's see if the upgrades were worth it. Come run with me. Change your mind, change your life. Hey runners, welcome back to another edition of Running With James. Today, that's right, we're gonna give you our full review of the SC Trainer V3. If you're new to the channel, please take a moment to like and subscribe, and please don't forget to hit that notification bell, that way you know about all things Running With James. As usual, we'll go through all the ins and outs of this shoe, the upper, the midsole, the outsole, and by the end of this video, you'll know if this is something you just gotta have or something you can do without. All right, so to start out with the upper, the upper is an engineered, mesh upper, and they're providing what they're calling their phantom fit, phantom fit. There we go, English is a hard, hard language for me. Um, and so what I found is that this was an actual pretty good lockdown fit. Um, it is a little more ref refined, uh, I guess better with offering a better lockdown um, than some of the previous versions. Um, I know for me, like the V1, I really never felt like I could get that great lockdown, which is kind of rare in the New Balance. New Balance really fits my foot really, really well. Um, so plenty ample room in the toe box uh, for the toes display, uh, plenty height for the toes as well. So I had no hot spots, no rubbing, nothing like that. Hill counter, counter is pretty substantial. Uh, it's reinforced with some of these overlays here in the back, so you can see how substantial that is. Um, so you get plenty of support in that hill counter, so that foot locks in really, really well. Uh, it has a traditional lacing system, uh, nothing too special there, with some additional overlays to protect um, the, 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 the holes and everything to keep from falling out. Um, does have an attached tongue. So, uh, you know, this is a great tongue, actually. Really found it very, very comfortable. Uh, not too padded not too thin, it's just right, how Goldilocks would say it. Um, and then that sweet attachment in there as well. I, I think more people, if, if more shoe companies would make their tongues like this, oh my gosh, there, should be, there could be some really, really amazing shoes out there. So overall, I feel like the upper was a great fit, wasn't too hot, um, wasn't super airy either, so whether you're running in hot weather, whether you're holding cold, I think your, your foot's gonna be just fine. Um, plenty of room, um, so whether you have a wide foot, whether you have a really narrow foot, I think you'll be okay with the lockdown. Um, and it's New Balance, so you know they make wides if you want them. Um, and then a great fit in that heel counter. All right, so let's get into the midsole. And we all know the midsole is really what it's all about. If you don't have a great midsole, you don't have a great shoe. Um, and so New Balance is using their fuel cell foam here in the SC Trainer. Um, and it's a new super, say it, come on James, you can do it, I believe in you. It's a new super critical Piba foam. So uh, definitely it's a softer foam than some of the previous versions. It's featuring the same foam that's in that SC, uh, not the SC, but the um, the Rebel V4, um, which I love that shoe. That foam, that shoe was, was like, mm. Uh, what's it called? Chef's Kiss, there we go. Um, and so for this one, uh, definitely has that same foam, but it has more of it. So it's got a 41 millimeter stack height in the heel and a 35 millimeter stack height in the forefoot, giving us that nice six millimeter drop. Um, it does have um, what they're calling this energy arc system. So you can see kind of this, if you look here, you see this kind of uh, curve here at the, the front of the shoe. Um, it's definitely different than uh, some of the previous versions. Um, I know for me, the V1, I did not like that shoe whatsoever. Um, it really bothered my Achilles. I think just the stiffness of the carbon fiber plate and then the, the just the, that energy arc that they had was just so pronounced. Um, it really did bother me. I, did, I, I could not say, I, I think I wore the shoe a couple times and then no more. Um, so this one's not as pronounced, so it's a little more, uh, a little smoother through the transition than some of the previous versions. Um, so, uh, but it does have that carbon fiber plate in there and it's a pretty stiff plate, right? So you can see, like, I can't really bend that. Um, and so that helps, right? If you're trying to pick up the paces a little bit faster. So with that bouncy foam, great for long runs, uh, you know, super duper long runs. Um, so you've got that really cush feel. But if you maybe have one of those runs, maybe you're training for a marathon or a half marathon and you're trying to do some race pace efforts, you could definitely pick up the pace in this particular shoe. Um, I think this shoe would be great for people maybe who are a little heavier, um, so those bigger runners um, that are looking for something with a little more support because with that carbon fiber plate in there, you can see like it doesn't really shift or twist, right? So you're getting um, some really good support um, while also getting that super soft foam. So for me, I wasn't a huge fan of the, of the actual, I guess the integration of all of the foam and the plate just because that plate is so stiff. 
um, and I did have a little bit of, not as bad as the first version, but my, my Achilles definitely was a little tight and a little sore, a little more than usual, which is something I don't want in a long run shoe. Um, so kind of not super sold. I love the foam, but I think the plate for me is just a little too stiff. All right, so let's talk about the outsole. Now, the outsole um, is New Balance rubber outsole. They've got strategically placed rubber. Um, so try to cut the weight so you can see there's kind of some exposed portions here on the foam. Um, so uh, it's rubber and it works. Works well in uh, dry and in wet conditions. Nothing super crazy about it. Um, taking corners, not an issue. Um, and so uh, as far as the durability, have about 55 miles on the shoe. So um, it seems like it's, it's been holding up pretty decently. So you don't really even see a ton of like wear and tear at all. So a good amount of rubber um, in just the right places um, and done pretty well. So good job New Balance on rubber. Everybody should know how to do rubber, I guess, right? You shouldn't be slipping by now in these shoes. Just saying, whatever. All right, so here's the big question. Should you add the SC Trainer V3 to your rotation? Well, if you're looking for a shoe that's soft with a good amount of comfort, um, yet something maybe you could pick up the paces, to, paces in as well, um, then I think you're gonna like the New Balance V3. If you are a heavier runner, I think you're gonna really, really dig this shoe. For me, it was a little too stiff. Uh, I did like the softness of the foam, but just with that, the combination of the Energy Arc and that hard, hard plate, it's just honestly not something that I'm a huge fan of. So I think for us, this is something that I would say you probably just want to think about it. Um, so if you're looking for something and you're a heavier runner, maybe you like the New Balance in the past. If you've liked the SE Trainer in the past, you're probably going to love this shoe. Um, but if it's one of those things you're on, you've never tried it before, in my opinion, there's other long run shoes like the ASIC Super Blast. Uh, the two just came out. We're going to be reviewing that here pretty soon. Um, and uh, even other New Balance shoes, honestly, I think the Rebel V4 is a great shoe you can do for pretty much anything. You can run, lo run long runs in that shoe. You can do speed days in that shoe. And it's probably, I think it's like 40 bucks cheaper than this particular shoe. So for us, this is something I would say, uh, maybe you should just think about it. All right, that's our review of the New Balance SC Trainer V3. We'd love to hear from you. What are your comments on this shoe? Let us know below. Um, have you tried this shoe before? Do you love it? Do you think we're crazy and we don't know what the heck we're talking about? Um, or have you had some of the same issues maybe that we had with the shoe? Also, don't forget that if you haven't done so ever, you got to check out the Running with James podcast. We drop a new episode every single Wednesday. We have a great time talking about running techniques. We have great guests. Um, and then myself, Rocky, and Lauren have a lot of fun doing it. So we'd love to have you guys join us on that journey. Um, so you can check it out on here on YouTube, but you can also check it out on anywhere you get your podcast. So remember guys, subscribe, share, like, do all that stuff to help build the community because that's what we are trying to do. If you don't remember anything from this, remember, you can change your mind, you can change your life.